So hi, I'm Rob Telson. I'm a vice president of ecosystem and partnerships at BrainChip. And we've developed a neural network AI accelerator. It's based off of the neuromorphic principles. And what really differentiates us from other AI engines or accelerators is the fact that um, we're extremely ultra low power uh, we process everything on the device. So that provides levels of security and privacy that other technologies don't provide. But most importantly, we do one-shot learning or on-chip learning on the device. And so if you'll notice over here, we have our demos at our booth going on. And what we have over here right now is we're demonstrating vibration analysis. And what we're doing here is we're highlighting the fact that you can use our technology, which we call Akita, and you can recognize defects and use that for predictive maintenance. And you'll see that in vehicles, you'll see that in industrial applications, and you'll see that even on our mobile devices and our devices in the home in the future. And we run through a variety of different demos that we're doing today here at the, the Innovation Summit. And besides predictive maintenance, uh, this is my favorite one, it's beer tasting. And it's more than just about beer tasting, we're really recognizing and highlighting the differences in different compounds or gases. So for this beer tasting exercise, we're using the sensor to demonstrate the difference between a pale ale and a stout. And we're doing that by recognizing the alcohol content, the glucose content, the sodium content, and the pH content. Now I want you to think about this in a bigger perspective. I want you to think about the gases. I want you to think about um, purified water. And applications where you want to use sensor technology and an AI engine very similar to what uh, BrainChip's providing with Akita to process this information very efficiently using very little power. And that's, this is another application that we're going to see in the future coming out here in a lot of different devices within the home and again in industrialized applications, in vehicles as well uh, for pure air and so on. One of our latest demos that we've done is regression analysis. And what we're doing here is we're using a trained demonstration, putting vibration sensors on the bridge, and we're able to tell when there's different, um, different scenarios where things aren't operating correctly. And through that regression analysis, these will be for, again, applications for infrastructure within broad city environments, um, within devices in the vehicle. You'll be able to tell when something's not working correctly on the vehicle, run software applications and actually um, basically uh, solve the problem while we're still driving the vehicle or enable the driver to be in a safer environment while they're driving the vehicle. And this is all happening because we're using uh, BrainChip's Akita technology. These other technologies can't do all the things that we've just shown, such as the beer tasting or recognizing different compounds and the two vibration, the regression analysis and the vibration demo. This is gesture. And what we're doing here with our partner Prophecy is we're using a DVS camera to recognize different gestures. But what's unique about this is we trained these gestures on the device. So they're not from any type of network or data set, which could take months to years to develop. And what we've done here is we've just, we've added in a hand clap or we've added in an arm roll or air drums or something to that extent. And this demonstration is highlighting that. So these are the really the unique things about BrainChip's technology that um, it's beyond vision, it's beyond voice. What we're doing here is we're showing you the vibration, we're showing you the vision, we're showing you the voice. Um, and we have a couple other demos that we'll show as well. And this is what really encapsulates what BrainChip is doing and how fast they've evolved compared to other technologies. And the amazing thing is because of our architecture, we're actually um, adopting new technologies or new, new um, work scenarios or use cases at an extremely rapid rate. While other technologies that are being introduced in the AI space um, don't have that flexibility to do this. And so here what you're seeing is we're using keyword spotting or voice command to control the drones in the office. And the guys are flying the drone around, they're making it go up, they're making it do flips, and they're going to make it land. This is all very easy to do with BrainChip's technology. And then we'll go on to this one, which is one of our trademarks, which is the in-cabin demo. We're running three networks at one time. Again, this is called multimodal situation. We're actually recognizing the driver as they enter the vehicle. 
We're doing the voice command of that same driver. So we're validating through face, we're validating by voice, and then we're recognizing who's in the vehicle through person detection. And in this particular situation, what we did on the vehicle there was we used that to um, train the face recognition on the device, again, without having to use a, a broader data set or network. So uh, what we've shown you here are a variety of different scenarios using the brain chip technology. This is what gets us excited about the future of AI on the device. And eventually, you're going to see all this technology get designed into the chip or into the sensor. and in hundreds of millions of devices out there. So these are good times for BrainChip. Thank you for paying attention and thank you for being here at the Alliance. And so real quickly, for more information, go to our website, www.brainchip.com. If you're interested in just taking a look at our media, you can go to our YouTube channel at BrainChip Inc. Or you can contact me directly at rtelson, T-E-L-S-O-N, at brainchip.com.